Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with the Dog. こんにちは。今日は大分の郷土料理、団子汁を作ります。昨年大分に行った時、友達に教わりました。団子を伸ばすのはとっても楽しいですよ。First, let's make the 団子 Add a pinch of salt to the all purpose flour and mix it with chopsticks. Add the water a little at a time and mix in the flour. If you are out of all purpose flour, you can combine cake flour with an equal amount of bread flour in this recipe. When the flour is moistened, press it with your hand to combine. Knead the dough for about 5 minutes until the surface has a glassy texture. In Japan, the ideal softness is often described as like your earlobe. Sounds weird, huh? Roll the dough into a cylindrical shape. And cut it into eight equal pieces. Then shape each piece into an oval. To keep it from drying out, cover the dough with a dampened towel and let it sit for about 30 minutes at room temperature. Next, let's cut the vegetables. Make numerous shallow cuts around the burdock root lengthwise. Then, shave the root with a knife while gradually rotating it. This cutting method, known as sasagaki, will help to make the firm root easier to eat. Next, trim off the root end and the stem end of the taro. Peel the skin lengthwise. Then, slice it into 7 mm slices. Likewise, Slice the daikon radish and carrot into 7mm slices. Now, let's parboil the ingredients. Add the burdock root, taro, daikon, and carrot to a large pot of boiling water. Allow it to boil and cook for about 1 minute. Then, remove the vegetables with a mesh strainer. Oops! Turn off the burner and place the skinless chicken thigh into the same pot of hot water. The meat should be cut into bite sized pieces beforehand. When it turns kind of white, quickly remove the chicken. The parboiling will remove any unwanted flavor from the vegetables and the meat and help them to absorb the broth later, making the dish absolutely delicious. こちらは煮干しの頭と腹綿を取り30分以上水につけてあります。Pour the water into a pot along with the 煮干し、dried baby sardines。And turn on the burner。Bring it to a boil and carefully remove the foam。Then reduce the heat to low。And simmer the dashi stock for a total of 8 to 10 minutes. Leave the lid slightly open to prevent the stock from having a fishy odor. Now, turn off the burner. Remove the niboshi with a mesh strainer, and the dashi stock is ready. And now, let's make the dango jiru. Heat the niboshi dashi stock in a pot and add the parboiled root vegetables. Now, shape each dango into a noodle like strip. Gradually pull the edge to stretch the dango. Dango usually have a round shape, but this type of dango has a flat udon noodle like shape.
hold each end and gently shake it to help stretch the dango. Stretching dango takes time, so start shaping them before the stock begins to boil. Then, add half of the miso to the broth. Dissolve the miso in a small mesh strainer to help remove any lumps. Cover and cook for about 5 minutes until the vegetables and the dango soften. Now, add the chicken, abrage, thin deep fried tofu, shimeji mushrooms, and the nappa cabbage. Cover again and cook the cabbage and mushrooms for 2 to 3 minutes. Then dissolve the rest of the miso. Finally, add the chopped long green onion. Lightly cook the onion and the dango jiri is ready. You can add yuzu koshou, yuzu citrus chili paste, or shichimi mixed chili powder to taste. Alternatively, sliced pork is used instead of chicken, or the broth is seasoned with soy sauce instead of miso. Konnyaku or konjak is also a popular ingredient in this recipe. Gozai tappuri de eiyo manten. Dango mo mochi mochi de tottemo oishii desu. You can mix the used baby sardines with shredded carrot, burdock root, and sliced onion, and make delicious kakiyage mixed vegetable tempura. Good luck in the kitchen! <laughs>